a big factory to make tahina and sesame oil, and we were even suppliers of the Iraqi army. But one day they came, two sticks belong to the government. We got laissez passe saying one-way ticket in very ugly way. In the Iraqi culture, you don't say, go and don't return. Rohabal al it's like very extreme way to say it. And uh, we arrived here. My grandma in Rehovot, she was in a tent uh, for uh, three years, and then she moved to a wooden shed. Here in Jerusalem, we were in aluminum shakes, aluminum like two meters 70 on three and a half, thin aluminum. Electricity wasn't even in our dreams, as well as running water. But we were dreamers and pioneers and see what's miracle happening around us. And I, I belong to a group called Chefs for Peace, without politics. And we are showing, it's a group of Israelis and Palestinian, Jewish, Muslim, Christian, they're showing that with big sharp knives you can do good things. And sometimes I'm teasing them about this point as I'm saying till now, stop following your leaders and take a step. And I believe that it's going to be with the help of this thing. Because young people everywhere are not stupid. Most of them are very intelligent. And this the social media on this small thing will jump above any barrier, above any wall, and it will bring us really together to good life. And this is what I think that's going to, to be here. Please don't stuff yourself with bread in the moment that it will be on the table. It's a very it's good impossible. bread. It's impossible. It's a bread, the same bread, but a bit more uh, soft than the one that my father was doing when he arrived in Israel as a refugee. I don't see in no way he bought a bakery from the government. And he, lay, he went to make a stage in Mea Shearim. So the Yiddish that I know, a little bit, a visale of Yiddish, it's with Iraqi accent for my dad. And Joy, I'm sorry that I cannot be with you. I must run. I'm going to a big reception for the Czech Republic president uh, that opening the house of uh, the Czech Republic in the Cinematheque. And the Prime Minister uh, as well will be there. And uh, ah, let's we are go. working let's like go. crazy for a few days to prepare it. And I'm late. Could you tell us two words about the concept of the restaurant? I already told, but I will make tell it us, again. Tell us what it's biblical Israeli, a lot of foraging. All the seven species, as I mentioned. Uh, in each dish, there is, to each dish, there is story. So it's very long. Tell us what you are what you are giving the the, presi the prime, minister. prime minister now. They will have actually some of the dishes that you are having. They will have this I plant, but in small portions in a, a, a spoon. They will have tabule. They will have tiny, tiny, tiny vine leaves. Uh, they will have uh, fish falafel, pastilla. What, what is pastilla? Pastilla. Uh, I, I think that you have also the pastilla in your mind. If we didn't store it, uh, 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 it's a it's a duck confit wrapped in the pastilla. And what what is your favorite dish? Yours. Every day I have the pussy. The length from the oven most of the night. The lentil soup from the story of Jacob and the sub, that it's never red when you cook it. This is my favorite it's soup. It's never red? Yeah, the story is Namina, don't feed me from this red lentil soup. When you cook red lentils, they are turning to blonde. Uh -huh. And then you add herbs, they will be green. The question was asked already when the Bible was fresh, how come that it's written red and it's not? 
Chazal saying that the sub came from a king, he murdered Nimrod the hunter for his ox who was blood in his eyes. The Ben Ishchai, my great grandmother, in Michatun, was sitting in his bed midrash in Baghdad, coming with beautiful interpretation. He's saying that it's not making that the sub, it's not making sense that the sub became so polite. None, and A is very pleased. But he's saying that N.A. Na is also wrong. In the parasha of Pesach, uh, ten parashot between Tordot, the story of Yitzhuk, to Yitziat Mitzrayim, it's written, don't eat it wrong. Out of Mumi Men or Na. He said it was still wrong, it was rain. Better about uh, grapes for wine, uh, olives for oil, figs, pomegranate, and dates. And I can add also the eight species that for me it's the almond. I'm asking people how come that the almond is not in Shivat Aminim. It's a big story next time I will give you some more hints. Try to think about why it's not there and how that it's there and it's not there in the same time. And the, the Hanukkah, the Hanukkiah is another hint for this. Uh, so the food is biblical Israeli, influence also from my family, so there is some Iraqi touch in this food. Uh, my family, I came from Iraq as a baby refugee when I was nine months with 150,000 Jewish people that left Iraq between 49 and 51. And we were part of like 800,000 Jewish people that arrived from Arab countries to Israel in the same time as refugees. And uh, you have to imagine that the Jewish in Iraq were not like in the Jewish in Europe, not like in Spain, uh, Portugal, or England even. In England, you know that for like 350 years, there was no a single Jew in all England. And the Jewish in Iraq were from that side very, I cannot say very safe, but comparing to Europe, they were very, very safe. And they were free to come and to go and to have properties. My family went to the east, to Rangoon, to Bombay, and to Jerusalem. But the center was always in Iraq. And even to Italy, where we have a small town near Verona under our name. Basson, when a part of the family and a famous rabbi from the family uh, was there. Uh, until June 41, they were like in a sort of peaceful life. In June 41, the Nazi ambassador to Iraq started to push the king and the government to attack the Jewish people. It was the first ever pogrom in the Jewish of Iraq, what's called the Farhud. More than 200 people were killed, women get raped, property were burned, and uh, by the way, my mom got, like two years ago, a small grant as a victim first of the Nazi, and she's from Iraq. And uh, I think that tomorrow is the national day, yes, Ah, but yesterday, I mean, with this project I'm out of, uh, uh, yesterday there was the Memorial Day of uh, the explosion, the explosion of, of the, the, the Jewish, Jewish from in Arab, Arab countries. countries. Uh, so I'm part of this. And uh, after June 41, it starts with the declaration of the State of Israel. Uh, the Mufti of Jerusalem, Hajarin Husseini, that was a friend of Hitler, went to Iraq personally to urge them to attack the Jewish people. And my family that used to have some businesses all over Iraq, uh, the big business in, uh, was in Amara, in the south of Iraq.